now let's go let's have a look at the suit of armor my catcher needs to dust this guy yeah what do we touch it <laughs> dusty as so I guess that police or this security guards uh, fly catcher let's look this guy <laughs> chat to him. Hey, you wink? Hmm, probably for the best. <laughs> Are you awake and he's snoring? <laughs> well. Been a while since I got any mail. Might as well check. Seventh day in a row. Nothing. Let's have a look at this again. Beast is on 301. Um, I wish we could look at that a bit longer. Okay. Um, walk around, we can take the elevator. Anything else we can do in this room? I don't, I don't think so. Let's let's go up. Let's go up to our floor, wherever that is. Our room. I didn't see it on the board though. Do 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 do. <laughs> Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Oh, this is beast. Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. I had to promise, guys. I promised I wouldn't say anything. So, interesting. Um, so let's have a look in our fridge and see what we got. We've got Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. <laughs> um, so we're big, bad wolves. So I thought we would have been evil, but we seem like we're the nice guy. Damn it! Uh, let's continue on. Uh, let's have a look at our folder. Bluebeard's file. Trusted this guy. Bluebeard, who could that be? Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. <laughs> so I'm guessing I'm probably a drunk as well. Judging by what the heck? <laughs> what? Why do we have a pig on our couch? Let's, let's uh use Colin. Talk to Colin. We'll look at Colin. Let's let's talk to hey, Colin. Colin. Get up. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? So I guess, um... Yeah, get out. He wanted those three little pigs, maybe? <laughs> Not so little anymore. Got 
of smoke? <laughs> Thanks. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. Come on, that's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. <laughs> it is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. <laughs> I didn't know a girl. I didn't know a name. Beauty. Stupid oh, yeah? Guy. Yeah. I told her I'd lie for her. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. We'll give him the drink. Thanks, Bigby. So this is this girl we met tonight who is going to um, get that statement. Maybe not. Big B! Snow? Come with me. Just like my door unlocked. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm. 
What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? There's Malthus back there. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Secrets. Jesus. No. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. <laughs> a working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working Oh. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Whoever she's working for is definitely very evil. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Let's read the note. Or whatever it is, might become. What is? It's her no. ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. Alright, so let's go look at that blood. Let's have a look first. Blood around the corner. Let's touch it. <laughs> blood. Drops of blood. Will you taste? I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Let's 
scrap assembly. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. There's blood on top of the fence. There's someone's trying to jump in. Either they're jumping in or they're jumping out. I'm not sure. Just some loose trash. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. It's looking here, yeah. I don't know. I feel like we should. Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Alright, so that's all. Yeah, so someone must have jumped in, try to leave the head there. Hang right off. And go. Actually, let's go to the other side. This way. Let's see what's over here. If there's anything over here. Come on, can we walk around the corner? Nope, we cannot. Alright, so there's nothing over there. Um. So, either we've got some kind of wicked witch working eels in Fable Town. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> or, um. Or it was the, uh. Ooh, let's look at the bushes. Nobody there. Or it was, um. The woodchop guy. Uh, Woody. So let's compare the fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. There's no blood trail out again. I'm going to have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Brutal. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I don't have time for this. Yeah, you and all the rest of them in there. <laughs> Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. 
You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Her pen. Her... was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. He's not Where is massage. the bottle of wine you were to purchase? <laughs> Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Definitely not going in for a massage. Do your job, <laughs> Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. <laughs> we'll get on it right away, sir. Especially this guy killed. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Crane doesn't like people smoking and never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Is is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. <laughs> he knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really wall. have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything.